What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is something a little different, something I haven't done before, and we are going to basically be breaking down a music video that I shot about four years ago. So this music video is for a North Carolina-based down-tempo band called Filth. Filth is a band that is getting pretty huge. These guys are, um, you know, they're they're really heavy and um they they work nonstop. These are some of the like hardest working musicians I have ever met. Um I know the vocalist and the guitar player both have multiple bands, so they're always writing and when the world was normal, they were always touring. Um I used to shoot a lot of photography and promo material for these guys and uh I did shoot a music video for them once. So let's take a look at their YouTube channel real quick. And uh, so I can show you sort of what they've got going on. So this is Filth. Um, apparently, I'm not subscribed to them. I probably should change that. So I'm sub now. Um, so they have a whole bunch of things here. They have some music videos. They have some live videos. And you can see just in this, if you go over this thumbnail, they draw a pretty decently sized crowd. Um, basically, some of their videos have a lot of views, like 147,000 views here. Um, the video that I shot all the way down here on the bottom four years ago has 167,000 views. And I think these two videos are their top performing and uh mine is the the number one performing video on the channel even though this one is catching up rather quickly um so that's pretty gnarly um so we're gonna watch this video i'm gonna talk you guys through a little bit of how i shot it a little bit about the story of it and um it's pretty basic it's pretty pretty basic it's pretty uh cut and dry but you know, I'm gonna go through some of my filmography on this channel and do these videos because they're fun. So, before we start the video, uh, the camera it was shot on was the Blackmagic 2.5K. If you guys remember that camera, um, the ergonomics on it were terrible. It was basically shaped like a toaster. Um, I absolutely loved it and wish I wouldn't have gotten rid of it just for the simple fact of the image was top notch. It was 100% um, one of the best bang for your buck cameras that I think has ever been out there. And um, I'm a huge Blackmagic fanboy. You guys know that if you've uh, been a watcher, uh, viewer, subscriber of this channel. And uh, right now we're shooting on the Pocket 4K. So I love Blackmagic. And uh, this goes to show you I've been with them for a while. So here we go. This is Filth Insomniac. I love that artificial camera shake. So right here real quick, this is uh, actor Lucky Mangione. This guy is a friend of mine. He is out of Charlotte, North Carolina. He's been in so many films. Um, some of the bigger ones was Ride Along with Kevin Hart, Goosebumps with Jack Black, uh, but he's been in everything. So super talented guy. So these shots right here, these were shot in a music venue called Ground Zero. If you have ever been in a band that's toured through North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Ground Zero was a must stop. Um, it was a little small venue in the middle of nowhere, Spartanburg, South Carolina, but it always drew uh, bigger acts and bigger bands, and it was a place that always had good shows. Now, I know these guys were good friends with the people that worked at the venue or the venue owner, um, as well as I think some of their members at one point in time actually ran the sound at the venue, so these guys were fully like ingrained in the culture of Ground Zero. Um, so we were able to get in here and shoot the performance shots for free, which was super awesome because anytime you can get a location for free, um, that just helps with your budget all around. So we basically turned all the lights off in the venue because that's the way I like to work is get complete dark and then start adding light from there. And um, 
For this shot, the wide performances of the band, I had two HMIs, one camera left and one camera right, basically just shining down at 45 degree angles, nothing, um, nothing crazy, and uh, you know, just lit it like that because I wanted them to be mostly veiled in darkness for a lot of this. So this right here, the storyline is all shot in my living room, um, and there's a couple shots in my studio. But the storyline here is Lucky Mangione right here. He is basically this guy that can't fall asleep because he's too worried about what's going on in society. And uh, if that doesn't draw parallels to 2020, I don't know what does. Um, so if you see all these news clippings, it's of riots and it's of police brutality. And he more or less cannot get it out of his mind and he's basically coming unhinged um and he starts losing his mind you'll see throughout the music video as he starts believing these things are coming after him um and not just like police or or looters and rioters but more or less just like uh violence like violence is taking over and it's just stressing him to no end that he can't sleep so he starts drugging himself so you go back to this one shot here and you can see that there's a light here behind the drum kit and this is your typical work light um, and it doesn't have that nasty tungsten color even though I'm a big fan of tungsten I have one right here as a hair light but more or less um, the work lights they put out a really nasty tungsten color and this one uh, I just cooled down the music video so it looks like it's daylight balance but it was definitely yellow on the day of the shoot and the reason I backlit the drum kit was because if I hadn't have done that um, most of his kit would have been just you know swallowed by just the sheer darkness of the room so Couple shots I had to backlight, but most of all, it was like literally three point lighting. Super simple. The shot here of Lucky um, was hilarious because he's in my side garden and he's trying to walk through without tripping because I have little pavers down and uh, he has a pillowcase over his head. So this is where the guy starts losing it and um, he starts you know like really really trying to sleep so he, he starts going in this like hypnotic state um where he turns into this pillowcase bag head guy and uh fun fact that car back there old cadillac i used to have um if you know me personally i love cadillacs and i used to drive a big gold cadillac coupe de ville but i got t-boned by another cadillac so that car is no more So all of these are real newscasts, um, which is unfortunate, you know, it was actually kind of hard to find them. It would have been a lot easier to find all of this mass media hysteria nowadays than it was then, but... So the shot here, um, the pillow head bag man, pillowcase bag man returns. And uh, we were trying to find out where we could bring him back into the video. And Lucky's like, what if I just walk down your hallway? And then I turn and look at you. And I was like, yes, please do that. That's super creepy. And uh, he gives me a little Michael Myers head like tilt. And it was just had to keep that shot in there. Again, this is him. He can't sleep. He's slowly losing it. This shot here was in my studio. little glitch effect there to make it look like the TV's flickering on and off. So here's my favorite shot of the video coming up. One of them. So here, <laughs> simply sleep. I told my wife I needed her to go to the store and get me the most generic looking sleep medication there was in the store. 
and I needed it to say sleep on the box and she did an excellent job of finding this. I think she went to CVS and uh, again, the guy is trying to drug himself with sleep medication to make himself sleep so he doesn't have to watch this uh, mass media um, violence. But this is my favorite shot right here. Right here, this one coming up where he's looking in the mirror, just wait, right here. So he's looking in the mirror, opens medicine cabinet to get medicine, and he sees a revolver. And it's like, okay, is that real or not? He doesn't know because he's losing his mind. But he gets his vitamins, and he starts pouring the vitamins in his hand, and there's bullets in it. Listen, I was so stoked when I came up with that idea. I thought it played out so well. Um, this shot right here, this is probably my favorite. Where he's behind the sheet. Um, it's also how the video ends. I don't know how that dude gets that low with his voice. It's insane. So this shot is basically a white muslin backdrop stretch across two light stands. And it's supposed to be like he's drowning in his sheets in his bed. And I just literally had Lucky grabbing at the sheet and moving his face across of it like he's screaming. And it matches up with that um, where the guitar rings out at the end. And right here, Hard Luck Media. So Hard Luck Media was my old production company. And uh, so I'm wearing this hoodie. It says Know Your Luck on it. This was one of our hoodie designs for the company. I ran it with another old friend of mine. And uh, we went our separate ways. He went to go do his thing. And I went to go do mine. But we shot a lot of music videos. Shot a lot of weddings. Shot a lot of like commercial kind of stuff. And um, but you guys know like that company's been dissolved and has been for a long time um at least for a couple years so now me and justin are running black mass films and uh not really shooting music videos anymore unless they're here and there but i'm not focusing on them like i was at one point in my career um but they are a lot of fun especially when you get musicians that basically kind of give you um you know your own creative process or they they let you take you know your creative thought and and throw it out there because i directed this i edited it i came up with the idea for the video um of course it played along with their song insomniac but i was like okay here's what we need to do and uh they were all into it and um anytime i can basically make a story that could exist on its own separate from the music but also flows with the music really well then i'm happy because i'm all about those cinematic music videos as opposed to just um just like performance music video shots like i would be fully on board if somebody let me make them like a four-part uh mini movie for like four different music videos. There's a band called Gallows and they had an album called Great Britain and they did that. They had like four or five music videos uh, for four or five different songs and they all flowed together in like one little like short film. Um, and I've always wanted to do that for a band, but finding a band that's ready to shoot five music videos all at once or has the budget to do that is like pulling teeth. So, so yeah, so that was Phil's Insomniac. Um, like I said, I use some HMI lights. I use some work lights, um, basically two locations, my house and a venue. And, uh, I think I shot it with like a Canon EF 18 to 35 millimeter lens. So it was a very simple, cheap setup, very simple, uh, shoot. And, uh, it was two shoot days. It was one day shooting at the venue. And then we waited probably about three weeks till I could get lucky out at my house and, um, shoot the stuff at my house. And, I think the video came out really well. I really enjoy it. It's not something that I'm that I try to hide like old work that you don't want no way to see. It's something that I would still put in my reel to this day. If you guys like these videos, I would like to make more of them. I have a whole bunch of other work that I could talk about, uh, short films and and music videos and other stuff. So, um, if you guys like the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and. Um, let me know in the comments. Maybe you guys know these guys from Filth. If you do, let me know what your experience with them were because they're super rad. Um, and 
as always, stay rad and just go shoot. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.